now it's time for Home Hell Reviews with Willy Be a Hobo. Tonight review National Treasure. Oh my god, this is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life! X marks the spoilers! There's this guy named Benjamin Franklin Gates, who was probably named after his longtime ancestor, Benjamin Franklin, who is obsessed with a treasure! See, this kind of looks like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, my man. Don't you think, my man? And so his prior generation and that prior generation and that prior generation and all those generations were obsessed with getting the legendary treasure. Except the daddy's not obsessed with it. He's like, Hi, Ninja Bunja, who are stuff? I'm not gonna give a rat that's about it. Hey, walk away. Although the grandpappy seems to be quite pleased about being obsessed with it. And so is Benjamin Tate. And so we fast forward like 30 years or so, and Benjamin Tate, played by Nicholas Cage. Yeah, you know the one that goes, Oh, no, not the bird. Ah. Yeah, that Nicholas Cage. He plays Ben Tate. And he is determined to get that treasure that he is so obsessed with over all these years. So he goes to Antarctica to find the treasure. Only the treasure's not there, it's some comp pipe. And I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this, but without it looking like this. It's got like a, you, you know, this part's got like a boat ship on it and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what the corn pipe looks like. And it discovers a hidden clue. Look, Scooby, we found a clue. Hey, Blue, we found a clue. See, everybody wants this treasure. Why not just rename this into Mad, 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 Mad World 2? The Long Lost Treasure. Seriously, that would make perfect sense. The title makes a lot of sense. Because then it would have been 40 years in between movies. Seriously, what the hell's up with that? Anyways, I'm a man. So then, they get buried underneath the snow. But then they get out and they head back to Washington, D.C. Because their buddies, one of them played by named Sean, who happened to be in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, not the Hobbit, but the original Lord of the Rings, I'm a man. Wants the treasure for himself. And in order to do that, they have to steal one of the most sacred documents in the history of the United States of America, my man. The Declaration of Independence. And you're not gonna believe it, and I'm not fucking high. What is an, what is behind the Declaration of Independence? A hidden map. I am not making this up, folks. I am not fucking high. They seriously have to find a map. Because I'll lead them to another clue, and another clue, and another, 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 and it's all about another clue. Which is why the daddy stopped obsessing over this treasure. Because he's like, well, it's always another clue, then another clue, then another clue, then it's like you're wasting your fucking time. I figured it out. So, anyways, they go to D.C. to steal the Declaration of Independence, which triggers the FBI's arrival. Gee, wasn't that a shock in my mouth. And now they want to take down Ben Tate for stealing the Declaration of Independence, even though you should be going after the real bad guys here. The reason why they stole the Declaration of Independence is to prevent Sean from stealing the Declaration of Independence, because then the treasure would fall into the wrong hands. Haven't you seen these movies before where they take something so that the bad guy doesn't take it, so it doesn't get placed in the wrong hands? Clearly the FBI has not seen these stupid movies. Oh wait, that's right. They take down people who rip on these movies. Shame on the FBI. I'm sorry, FBI. I didn't mean to do that. So anyways, they go to Philadelphia because that's where the next clue will be. The Liberty Bell! Which reveals a bunch of bionicle, bionicle glasses. Bionic glasses, that's what I refer to. I don't know why I keep saying Bionic. Maybe because I'm obsessed with Lego because of my childhood. Anyways, that's besides the point. It discovers a clue on the back of a $100 bill. Unfortunately, I don't have one with me because, well, you know me. I'm a fucking hillbub -ba bear. Sorry for the foul language, kiddies of a bear. It reveals a clue that takes him into a cave. At this point, the daddy is now believing that Ben is actually that close to the treasure, so he follows him. Actually, he's more like kidnapped and is forced to follow him. <laughs> so then they go and it looks like they've hit a dead end and then he, Ben's daddy gives a fake clue which sends Sean to Boston. 
You know where ben, Paul Revere said, the British are coming, the British are coming, the British are coming. It tricks them into thinking there's a clue there when actually the clue was right there in their eyes. No, seriously, there's like a triangle with an eye on there. You know what I mean. So anyways, they open it up and there's nothing. Except Ben's dad now finally believes at this point, you've proven me wrong and for that, you did it. You discovered the secret location. You've made all our generations happy. See, now this is turning into holes, and holes just came out the year before this movie. Also by Disney, my mom might I add. My God. But now you see why it's, uh, this generation's Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade, my mom. It kind of has the same feel to it. So then they discover the secret passage, and boom, what do you know? There's the treasure, except they don't get to keep it. Big shock, just like with Indiana Jones. The FBI gets to spread it all over the place, and... Uh, Ben ends up marrying to the blind person who used to work in the uh, place for the Declaration of Independence was bestowed upon. And by golly, is she not a damn to in distress? She's a fucking hottie, my man. In fact, I think she's over Nicolas Cage and his caginess. Oh, she's somewhere. I hope I could find her. But anyways, that's the end of the movie. And they get a big old fancy mansion. And she gives her a map, which reveals the location of the house, which means they're probably going to do it. Hey, please, my boy. A scene for you. Oh, boy. With guacamole. Yes. And so that's National Treasure. I, for one, recommend it. Maybe not the second one, but definitely the first one. Especially if you like Nicolas Cage in my map. Or treasure. Or adventure. This is really be a hobo saying. Charge! You got charged! Oh, come on, up a cow, will you? Come on, charge! Come on! I need the money so that I can come up with candy so that I too can find a national treasure! Just like Nicholas Cage!